In our overview video, we looked at the concept of unlearning and why it was necessary to embrace unlearning in order for change to be successful. In this video, I want to look at the first step of five to successful unlearning. And step number one is about recognizing the need for unlearning. And I know I touched, touched on this in the overview video, but it really is not just as simple as being able to forget something. That is not conscious unlearning. Conscious unlearning is actually physically determining and deciding that you are going to do something in a different way and that you are going to archive the way that you used to do something. The example that I used in the previous video was imagine just for a moment that you get into your car and you're heading in a new direction. Maybe you've started a new job, something exciting, and you're going somewhere completely different. Maybe you have a meeting that you have to get to and you get in your car and you start driving and you're distracted, whether you're distracted because you're thinking about something or you're distracted by a phone call, but you're distracted. Maybe you're opening a, a packet of sweets, a packet of candy, you know, that would be me. <laughs> but whatever, you're distracted. And before you know it, You've headed off down a road that you always go down and you've missed your turning for your new destination. And what do you say to yourself? Oh no, look what I've done. I must have been on autopilot. And what is autopilot? Autopilot is our excuse for not unlearning. That's what autopilot is. Autopilot is really just us reverting back to something that we know by rote. It's a subconscious thing. It's when you are doing a task repeatedly over and over and over again, and you've done so for a number of years, then you just carry on doing exactly the same thing. And you might say, oh, I forgot, but you didn't forget because you can't forget something that you don't already know. You only forget something that you already know. And so the fact is that you just didn't successfully unlearn what you were doing previously. What do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Um, I, think of, I think of something that I do quite often, and that is I am able to quite easily recite something that is nearly 20 years old now. I can actually recite the ITIL version 2 change management process. Is it useful? Yes, it can be in some instances, but very, very few. And what I have had to do is I've had to make a subconscious effort to unlearn. But in order to do that, I have to recognize that I need to unlearn. And so what I have done is I write down a pros and cons list, a pro list for a new way of doing things. Why do I need to embrace something new? And the cons list, in other words, you know, the adverse effects. Why do I need to stop doing what I used to do? Why is this not valid anymore? So essentially, you're writing a list of embracing the new and why new is so important. But also you are reminding yourself why the old way of doing things is actually detrimental to your success. As I said, this is not just about forgetting something. This is about acknowledging that what you are doing is detrimental to your success and you must change. Because in order to be successful, you have to change. And then something else that I do is that whatever it is that I've been doing in the past, I will document it. Whether it be going down a particular road, I'll document that route. Whether it be a particular change process, then I'll document that. And I will physically document it. I will physically write it down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to store that document. And I'm going to store it in, say, an archive folder. But nevertheless, it's going to be stored. And that allows me to give myself permission to not use that process again. I've got it if I need it. 
but I don't need to use it anymore. And now what I'm going to do is use that space in my brain to embrace the new process. But in order to do that, as I've said, this is step one. And step one is about recognizing the need to unlearn. And the need is, very simply, that if you carry on doing what you've always done, it starts being a detriment to you, to your career, to your role, and also to your organization. So recognize that need, write down the reasons why it's a detriment, and then we can move on to step two. And step two comes in our next video.